Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to root the Zero 07 Pro and also install a ROM. Uh, I'm going to use one of DOPA's 4.4.4 ROMs. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up your settings on your tablet. You want to enable the developer options. If it's not enabled, you need to go to About Tablet and you want to tap on the build number several times as you can see it says there's no need to do that because I've already got developer options so you go to developer options and you want to enable developer options and you want to enable USB debugging you can click OK after that's done uh, it should tell you in the notifications that you're USB debugging is enabled and you're connected as a media device. Next you want to go over to XDA developers and uh, I'll put some links to the to these pages in the description. Um, Xbox Expert is the person that uh, made this route that I'm going to use. Um, you'll download the file here where it says download zip file. You want to extract those. I've already got them downloaded, so I'm going to show you here. Um, this is the file that's downloaded. I extracted it to here. And then when you come in here, you want to go down to the XE Zero Root US application. You want to do run as administrator. And of course, yes. And it's telling you that there's no warranty. He's not responsible for screwing up your device, whatever. So press any key to continue. Um, it's going to say press any key to continue again. Uh, they will open Device Manager for you, and you'll see it in here. It'll either be named Zero, or it may be named with the model number, the M47 OBSA. Either way, you'll right click on the device, do update driver, and you'll say browse my computer. And you want to go to the folder where you downloaded that root package. And there's a folder inside there that has USB drivers. You'll click OK. Next. It'll install the drivers. Click install. install the driver software it may take a minute or two all right this installed the ADB interface driver for this tablet and click close and now it'll show up as an Android ADB interface in the device manager so next you want to close the device manager and it tells you to be sure to close it. And you'll hit any key to or press any key to continue. Um, I'm not going to do this because I've already rooted mine. But you would hit continue and it would go through the root process and your uh, your tablet will reboot. And when it comes back up, you should be rooted. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, go ahead and download the ROM. I'm going to use the DOPA uh, Doris Parks 4.4.4 uh, ROM and if you notice in here it says you have to have an SE Linux enabled version of Clockwork Mod or TWRP um, and the one that's included with the root we just did is not SE Linux enabled so you want to go and download that from Random Blaine's He's got a post uh, of his uh, tactic uh, ROM that he did. If you scroll down, he's got his recoveries, and one of these is SE Linux enabled. So you want to download that. And again, I'll put this in the description. And I've already got it downloaded in my folder here. Um, it's the Clockwork Mod 6.0.4.5 SE Linux. All right, you want to copy that to your phone. 
Um, you can either copy it to an SD card or you can side load it. Um, go ahead and download your uh, 4.4.4 ROM. And we'll also be downloading the Google Apps. Uh, you can download the minimal version, which is just the Play Store and the Google services, or you can get the standard version, which comes with all the Gmail maps, Hangouts, and all that stuff. Uh, I just went with the minimal version, so I can download the ones I want to get from the store later. And, and if you go here to get the ROM, you'll go down you'll get this first one here, the 4.4 DOPA, the full ROM. He's also got an overclocked kernel that you can try and a, a Nexus 7 spoof. Uh, supposedly you can get more apps from the Play Store, but I haven't had any problems with that. So I haven't used it yet. All right, so the next thing you'll do is come over to your tablet. We want to boot into recovery. Um, let me turn it off so I can boot it into recovery for you. Alright, to get it into recovery, you hold the volume down and the power button at the same time. See if I can get it, it'll say recovery and you can let go. You'll boot into recovery mode here and uh, as you can see, I've already got the new version installed since I've already been through this process. But you will yours will look a little different but you'll still go to the option that says install zip use the volume down and volume up to navigate and the power button to select and you want to install the zip uh, from your SD card if you copied it over let me do that I think mine's in here, yeah there we go I got them in ROMs and uh, you'll just select the zip file that you want to install which would be the, which would be this one here, the Clockwork Mod 6.0.4.5 SE Linux. And if you do that, uh, you'll see the progress at the bottom. And then when you get back to your menu, you'll want to uh, reboot the device. You'll go all the way back to the beginning. And the first option is reboot system. So you'll reboot. You'll come back into recovery mode again, just like we just did. And then yours will look like this with the new version of Clockwork Mod. The next step you want to do is you want to wipe the data, wipe the cache. Which are these two options here. Then you want to go to mounts and storage. And, uh, Dopa suggested to do the format data option and the format data and data media option. That way you'll have a clean system to install this on a clean storage, freshly formatted system and it'll be a lot better. Um, so after you do that, then you're ready to install the ROM. So you'll go to install zip. And like the same as last time, if you if you copy it to your SD card, you can use that option. Um, or you can side load it. If you choose side load, it'll look at the bottom and it'll say side load started. You can use ADB side load with the file name and the command. So you'll connect your USB drive, your USB back. Let me get that connected for you so you can see what it looks like. You'll come over here um, to your root. It's got ADB already in it, so you'll want to start a command prompt. Always do run as administrator, just to be safe. You want to navigate to your um, the folder where you have it installed. Once you get inside the directory, you can choose. Uh, your ADB, then you'll do side load, and then you'll put the name of the file. What I like to do is copy the file into that directory. Um, this is the ROM, so we'll do 
copy, paste it in here. And then you can come back over here and you can do your zero seven zip. That way you know to tap it all the way out. You know, hit enter on that and it'll start the process of copying it. And you can watch the progress on the screen and on the tablet. And once it reaches 100%, it'll start installing. Um, I'm going to cancel the side load so that I can show you. But after you get through installing the ROM, um, the status will be showing up at the bottom. You'll see a progress bar. And it'll go back to the same screen. You'll go back. You want to install a zip again. This time you're going to install your Google Apps. Same method, you can either install for the SD card or the uh, side load option. You know, install your Google Apps, I chose the minimum option. And you'll see the progress bar at the bottom again. And when it's finished, you'll be able to come back to your menu. And as you do that, you want to do reboot system now. And on mine it says yeah, uh, fixed boot or fixed root option. Yes, I just choose yes. Um, and that seems to still work. I still have root. And I've already got this running, so it's not a fresh install. I've already customized it a little bit, but you'll be able to see the boot logo change from the, um, I think it had smart something on it. I can't remember now, but it'll change to Android. And the first time you boot, it may take a few minutes, so be patient. Just, just wait. Let it install, let it boot up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it gets in. Alright, it's now booted up, and as you can see, I've customized it a little bit, but um, if you go to here, you can see Super Sue is installed um, by default. Um, he installed, he added the um, exposed installer, which would be good for installing the modules to customize it with the exposed framework. And he has the Gravity Box and Fab 7 installed. Um, Fab 7 gives you the menus like a tablet. Uh, if you go to settings, this, the way it looks here is like a tablet. So that's the Fab 7 options. And then Gravity Box, once you get it enabled, you can customize a lot more stuff. Like I customized my clock at the top um, in the middle. The, wife, uh, the battery percent circle battery. And you can also customize your power button boot options. Uh, if you got to reboot, you know, you can get the options for recovery or soft reboot. Um, and the other option screenshot mode, uh, screen record, and the normal other options there. And that's it. It's, it's been really stable. I haven't had any problems with it. It's really fast. Um, I really like it, so thanks a lot.